Let's check it out. Before they show it, I'ma say, I'ma say, I'm I sadly want to say DNL Winter in Miami, but Macho out of Hollywood, that car is pretty freaking fast. But I'ma stick with DNL. Win, lose, draw DNL Motorsport. I don't know if you guys want to see any of all the random footage of, you know, dunks that are not going or cars, big room shootouts that are not going neck and neck against each other. Or if you guys just want to see cars just zooming down the track so I skip through it until I get to actual races. But if you guys would like to see, you know, individual cars going down the track trying to see if you can find your favorite car, how fast it is and all that. Just let me know. I won't do no more cuts and we can just straight react to it. Is that a freaking... Is that a Pinto? Wow. A 73 Caprice convertible. That is a dunk. Classic and parlor. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know the year. I don't know. There's a lot more people that know more about dunks than me, obviously. I grew up and raised around it. My father was a mechanic. A lot much more stuff I can't speak on, but my, I grew up around cars my whole life. I can install car audio installation damn near with my eyes closed. Like, that's kind of a joke, but it's just coloring. The point is, I've been doing this since a kid, but when it comes down to like specific features from 1971 to 76, I cannot tell you whether that is what year. Um, I can tell you what an ace is, which is a, nice, a 1971. I can tell an ace by the look of it, but other than that, I can't tell you what the rest look like and all that. I can just tell you that Caprice and Paula don't. I'm not gonna lie, I say Macho got this, I say White Car got this. And it's no disrespect to the green car, just that, mm, I just say Macho got it. They're going to winter in Miami. Oh, wait. That is a beautiful color scheme to represent the name of that car. 73 Impala. Beautiful.
Let's see how that old school started up. So nice. So you got DNA Winter, 73s, 26s, 4 Leons, 4 Yardos, Big Block Nitrous, Twin Turbo, LSS. I got my money on Big Block Nitrous, Winter in Miami, DNA Motorsports, I'm rocking with you all the way, win, lose, draw. And it ain't no shade to anybody else, it's just. It's an area thing. Just like you represent your football team, I'ma represent my, you know, my city and the race teams that's coming out of my city. The only half-half defenses are photographers with their credentials to be a photographer. DNL for the win, baby. Shout out to Big Low. Shout out to Kelly. Shout out to Two Fly. Right, DNL the for the clear win, the man. Shout out. That's, another the one That's another one for Miami. That's another one for Opa Locker right there. Look how they start celebrating. They thought it was. Shout out Hollywood, though. I'm not gonna lie, shout out, shout out Macho, because I think Macho was, you know, that dunk right there, that's plain Jane, but either way, if it's not plain Jane, that dunk is fast as hell, and I'm speaking on the white one, so, man, for him to get beat, man, winter in Miami is no joke, but I might have to look up the, I might have to look up the specs and see what type of big blocker they're talking about, because I definitely believe it's a 632. Like, I definitely believe it's a 632. Clear the starting line. Clear the starting line. Clear the starting line. Everybody clear the starting line. 4-0, baby. 4-0. 4-0 in Florida, baby. Hey, G-Dog. Oh, appreciate it. 4-0. Ooh, I ain't even noticed the shirt. So, y'all peep out this sweater. His sweater is showing his lineup. You got winter and you got summer. And it literally says it right there. You got winter and the winter is going to dog you. But in the summer, he bringing out that Miami green thing. That man, beautiful. Got the DNL performance right under that. They built both cars. And I'm not going to lie. That young dude right there has made so much money off of just racing these two cars alone. I can't even fathom. It kind of makes you want to get into the dunk racing game, to be real. What's up, man? Winner right now, man. Brothers and sisters, man. Look at that. Brothers and sisters. What up, man? Winner right now, man. Brothers and Look at that. That Miami Green Summer, that car was always hell to be reckoned with. Always. They shout out RP. They shout out a lot of people at the end. I mean, at the bottom. But DNL performance. Welcome to Florida. Them two cars right there are gorgeous, and they are owned by him, driven by him, sometimes by Big Low. Shout out Big Low DNL performance. This is amazing right here. The sisters, man. I love that sweater, man. What do you want for you? <laughs> Two fly, if you happen to see this, man, I need, that's what I need, one, let me know. They told me I can't beat turbo car, they told me that, hey, hold on, they told me that the turbo car make a lot of power on the big side, right? So I was trying to see, did it make enough to come get that big block on the other side? Ah, that uh, boy said he wanted to see if that turbo could catch that big block, which is what I see, sticking to my knowledge. Uh, LSX, well, I will. Boost Doctor can show you uh, a LSX with a single turbo can spank, but 
What you talking about? LS versus a big block? Man, that's different. We got out of gas. I got the glove, yo. I'm gonna show y'all. Matter of fact, tell him to get the GoPro. <laughs> tell him put the GoPro and face the bitch the other way now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the fence about it. I don't really want to get this car away. So get the tickets if you want this car. If you don't, I'll keep it. Hey, That's he a can't beautiful keep the Monte Carlo. Get the tickets, man. He can't keep changing mine when it's over there in the dirt. It's mine. Yeah, it, it, you're right. I can right. keep it if yeah, I he want might, to. He might be right. He might be I right. can he keep right. it if I want to. <laughs> he might be right. Yeah, right. It was in the dirt. We pulled out of the dirt. We're all the way back to the same, man. It's all the way brand new from front to back. Brakes, motor, transmission, 9 inch red, cold over shop. Black paint, fresh I'm not gonna lie, that hood is misaligned just by a little bit, and I'm not a hater, but the car itself is beautiful. It was put back together by In and Customs, so like he said, everything was touched. I'm pretty sure that money car was like golden. Yo, yeah, brand new. I'm Red. keeping it. <laughs> I'd keep it if I was him. If I seen something come from the dirt and you restored it to this, oh, I'm keeping that. I'm not giving that back. Oh, Damn, she ain't give it away for here. free. <laughs> raw power. Just cause you're, just cause you're burnt. Look at that raw power. C28. Damn, they got a luxury line. Raw power. He lost that one. He lost that one. Okay, this one done. Let's check out this. Let's check out this right here. So we got a 2023 Chevelle SS with 1500 horsepower twin turbo and an 800 horsepower supercharged engine showcasing it. Listen, that don't even make sense to me. But let's check it out. We're watching a master at work. Those are one of a kind. Those are simply amazing. The right wheels, the right wheel colors, the accent, the car, the stripe accents, the car. It's a manual. Wait, that's, that's based on a Corvette platform or a Camaro platform? It has the Corvette steering wheel. Because they both got the Corvette steering wheel, but I think that, yeah, that's the Corvette steering wheel, but that 100% is the interior of the Camaro. But I like the red one more because it got that her style shifter, which is not a manual, but that her style double bar shifter is amazing. I would love to have a real one. Like, 
and it is more flashier than me adding that that bright red 70s does six I mean 70s does SS that's beautiful right there beautiful. The back totally different, the front totally different, you know, probably custom fiber parts, but yeah, they they did that pretty nicely without ruining the integrity of the convertible because some people try it and it's just awful. Yeah, look at that. The green one has a ba a better back profile for some reason. The red one looks more boxy for some reason, even though it's probably the exact same thing. Yeah, that was manual. I don't know. Oh yeah, we gotta check that race out. In that race, and not the one after. Not this one. I don't really care too much for that one. Rick Ross's house. You guys go subscribe to G Dog Customs page. G Dog 803. It's right here on the screen. G Dog. As you can see, I'm already subscribed, but let me see if I can hit, that, hit the bell icon, because you're going to see a lot of great dunk footage here, especially dunk racing, big wheel racing, big wheel shootouts, whatever you want to call it. But you're going to see a lot of dunk racing here. But until the next one, well, you know what, let's try to check this one out. I do, you know, everybody has their own personal style, opinion, and taste. And in my opinion, I do not like the rims on that orange truck. Just the flat disc is, like, weird to me. But I'm pretty sure, you know, he loves it, and that's what it's all about. And there's a lot of other people that's going to see this one love it. But to me personally, it just reminds me of the old school diving or dub spinners that just had the plate in the background and you had to go get your own spin. It's weird. But it's like someone took the spins off of his and I just don't like that. Those look like some very original. Well, not original because they redistribute now, but those are some nice wire Dayton's. And you can see the Dayton logo. Very nice reboot. That reboot was clean. Jaguar XJ is 
not too impressed by Maserati, but I like the color scheme. It seemed like everybody flocked around this one Corvette. What size rims are those? 30s. Wow. With the Versace interior. Did he really just hold up traffic for a photo shoot? Dude really held up traffic for his photo shoot. Honestly, the Versace gold does not match the exterior's more orange gold aesthetic. And they probably wasn't even going for that, honestly. But, uh, it's not clicking right. But I do like how it's done. Custom seats and the stitching is done perfectly. I do like that. Oh, it's on the doors also. Is it on the dashboard? Dashboard is very nice, custom one of one. Look how it has the uh, Versace uh, Medusa head pendants on both sides of the radio console. Ah, uh, he also has a push button transmission system. Look at that. I always envied and wanted that myself. A push button transmission system. The Medusa heads. Very classic Corvette. With the T-tops off or no? With the T-tops off! Yeah, he pretty much running that show. And it has speed on it. So you're talking about a car on 30 inch rims, that's definitely not meant to handle that. Um, so I'm going to assume the motor is ls up or something, but 30, 30 inch wheels on all four sides, major weight. And then you got two heavier set guys inside of it, and this car was still able to damn near lose control. That lets you know it's some serious power in that car. I wish he popped the hood. Mm, mm, mm. With the T-tops on. Now you got the Versace pillows in there. But he looked too tall for that car anyway. I'm not going to lie, I wish they would have popped the hood. I would love to see what's under the hood of that Corvette that's making it fly like that. But, that's a nice three-in-one combo. Let me see what else we got up here. I don't have too much else up here. But, that's three-in-one. Till the next time, you guys check in. You tuned in with Maniac. This is Maniac Entertainment. Thank you guys for tuning in.